Previously on Still Timber Sports Australia, the fifth and final round started with a bang. With DeLosa, Meyer, Head, and O'Toole all in contention. Jamie Head took out the springboard and then the standing block, while Meyer owned the stop saw. And championship leader O'Toole hung in there. I didn't come to Bathurst to get beaten, you know, but there's seven other guys here that probably want the same thing. Best man at the end of the day will hold the trophy. So with Argent leading round five, who will rise up and claim the series title? Stop number five. Our athletes have three more events to run to test their medal against the best axemen and sawyers in Australia. With the series winner being decided today, everyone's vying for that number one spot. So let's meet our top eight competitors. Victorian larrikin Lawrence O'Toole is back. Will his raw talent translate into a title? Wiley veteran Matt Gurr brings his lifetime of experience. Jamie Head's the consistent all-rounder. And the super fit Brad DeLosa wants his name on the crown. 22-year-old Mitch Argent heads up Generation Next. Reigning champion Braden Meyer wants to go back to back. Cody Steers is the youngest athlete, but can he outmuscle his peers? And Brody Dingle is desperate for his slice of still timber sports glory. Over five rounds, they battle it out across Australia in six gruelling disciplines, from the gravity-defying springboard to the blood-pumping hot saw. In each discipline, top place is awarded eight points, zero for a disqualification. The five best athletes will represent Australia at the World Championships as a chopper with the winner of the series taking on other national winners to become the still timber sports world champion. So with all that in mind, let's get into our first event. The single buck is a two metre long cross cut handsaw, fittingly nicknamed the misery whip. It's the most physically demanding of the six steel timber sports disciplines. With its peg and raker system, the athlete pushes and pulls the single buck saw through a 46 centimetre pine log. Their wedger oils the saw and drives a wedge between the cookie and trunk to help avoid friction hang-ups. It's a true test of teamwork, fitness, power and technique. First up, we have Matt Gurr from Tasmania, the oldest competitor in the field at 50 years of age, up against one of the youngest in 22-year-old Queenslander Mitch Argent. Three, two, one, go. Look at the determination on Argent's face. The fifth and final spot on the Chopper East team for the World Championships is so close and he can taste it. Let's not forget the Queenslander is the form lumberjack of the day. He's currently in the lead for the Bathurst crown. But we can't write off Gurr. There's years of...